Welcome, ladies and gents, to another casted game. This is currently being casted live on the Ranked Ladder. And uh, if you don't know how to do it, I always say this every time I cast, just in case it does make it to YouTube or whatever. And also, if there's someone new that's come onto the stream, if you don't know how to observe a game that's currently being played on the ladder, you go onto the lobby area. At the bottom, you'll see a little checkbox for spectator. If you click that, anything that says auto match, you'll be able to watch. It will ask for a password. Just don't put anything in. Just click join game and voila. You will be able to watch stuff. Okay, so this is going to be an interesting one because we have the Japanese civilization, a sieve that I don't normally see that much. And uh, it's being played by someone called Piro Shikids. Um, this person is apparently called Wasabi. He's an OG player that started back in like 2010, I think, and is currently number six on the ladder, which is insane. So we're going to be seeing what Wasabi does here. And on the north left part of the map, we have Mini Molt once again, playing as the Dutch in the Cyan. Currently, like, 30th position on the ladder. Got a Wasabi up those berries. Indeed. So we're going to actually focus pretty much solely on Wasabi, actually, in this game. I want to see what he gets up to, uh, how he plays Japan, all that good stuff. So let's have a look at the deck first. This is normal play. So this is a standard deck for Wasabi. And to be honest, it looks very standard. We do see... Uh, these double veal cards in in age one two and three and we see i mean japan's kind of crazy because they have these double shipments so it means that they can sustain a lot longer in like age two and age three they don't have to think about going you know they can just send so much it's kind of crazy that there's a lot of these doubles that you get uh, we do see nothing kind of out of the ordinary, to be honest. Um, uh, this is an interesting one, the Five Shrine Wagons. That's really nice. That's a relatively new card. Uh, or one that was changed. I think it was four, and then they made it five, which is kind of nuts. So Wasabi here, going to be grabbing uh, the 60 coin. Very, very nice. And let's just have a look at Wasabi's vision as well. We kind of want to keep it on in quite a lot here. Uh, I don't want to focus too much on Mini Molt in this game. And I want to have a, have a look and see how he plays Japan. He's got to be doing something right. He's number six. Number six. Basically, Revnak has uh, three accounts or two accounts himself. So he's like number four, basically. Uh, one second, guys. I think my cat's in. I've just got to shut the cat flap. <laughs> one sec. One sec. Right. Sorry about that, guys. No cat left behind. Would you evoke God power? Pause game. Pause live games? Yes, you can. Right, one sec. I just got to get my breath back again. I'm, I'm terribly unfit. Right, okay, let's do this. So, Wasabi here. Let's see what he's up to. Big Widge. Carrie, thank you so much. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Come on in. Come on in. Exploring the backside. Um, sorry? What? Care? Right. Manja. Namjana indeed. So pretty straightforward. We do see the Tory gates coming in. So this is quite a nice one. It gives you a samurai unit and a military rickshaw. So basically you can build a barracks or a stables. And also it increases the experience point build bounty for training units and construction buildings. And also the bounty of defeating enemy units is also increased. So it's quite nice. I quite like it. Um, and yeah, pretty much he is... Got a card available. Uh, my cat's being weird. Uh, he's got a card available. And yeah, he's just not doing much. He's just chilling right now. He's being chilling. He's got uh, all shrines on coin. The only shrine he's got is just the one at the moment. So he's just going to hold that card. Now, other Japanese players have gone for like five shrines. Sometimes go for four villagers. Also for four wood as well. So let's see what Wasabi goes for. We just have a look at the vision currently. We can see Mini Molt's kind of doing the same kind of thing. Very standard for Dutch. We've got a bank. He's probably going to be putting a couple more down. And there we go. There's the age up military rickshaw. And yes, it is five shrines. Five shrines looks pretty good for this map. Yeah, it's quite nice. It's quite kind of nice to put them. You can put them on the corner here and on the corner here. Remember, you kind of only want two shrines per hunt. So we've got here, for example, we've got we've got two hunts. So we've got four shrines that we can build in base. We've got two here. We've got two here. 
So you kind of want to do two shrines per hunt. That's how it kind of works. So, and uh, yeah, we're going to see also uh, the consulate as well at some point will probably be built. Um, I think the shrines might go on to... Wait, is he going for a fast fortress? He's shipping coin here and he's got shrines on coin. Uh, I sense like a fast fortress here. Um, which is kind of unusual. Like fast fortress with Japan? Is that a thing? Um, I never thought that would be a thing, but we, we might see it. We've got 100 food treasure coming in here. Samurai is going to be helping out to, to take down that lion. He FFs all the time with Japan. This isn't Pirishiki, though. This isn't Piro Piro, like proper Pirishiki. This is, uh, this is Wasabi. Apparently. That's what I've been told, anyway. It's not the Piro that we know. It's not Piro Piro. Oh, you do know that. Okay. <laughs> just just want to clarify. Um, I date my double cousin. I love that. What's double cousin? Is that like second cousin once removed? Or is that legit? Is that two cousins? Or is it something else? Uh, gone in a puff of smoke. Yep. Yeah, they do have that ability. Looks like the samurais are easily going to beat um, this ancestral uh, explorer here. He's, he's going to easily be going down, which is not ideal. Uh, now he's noticed it. The Cav's going to try and get in here and shut down the Samurai. Is he going to get the connection? Yes, he does. 72 XP is going to be nice. And yes, we do see the Fast Fortress. The Toshogu Shrine is coming in. Uh, this is basically a big shrine, guys. So it attracts the uh, the Ibex here, this deer. They will be attracted to the shrine. And yeah, it also provides export on age up, 400 export. And... Um, it also, uh, it, it actually generates a base amount. Is that a base amount? That it, it says generating 0 0.35, 35 wood, 35, all that every second and attracting up to eight animals to increase it. Yeah, so it has a base gather rate. Wow. So a little bit of raiding calf here from Minimal, unfortunately, doesn't really make the connection. And now we are seeing the consulate going down. So there's no kind of wood here at all. No wood has been shipped. Um, I say that. Where is he getting the wood from? There was a wood spike there. Oh, he has shipped it. Sorry. He shipped it after the coin. Okay, very similar to other kind of fast fortress strategies with other sieves like China, for example. You tend to ship wood straight after the coin. And then that enables you to get some infrastructure. So he's got market. He's got some eco coming in. He's got consulate. He's That 400 export is nice from the Toshogu Shrine. So he's going to be able to immediately get a first shipment. And yes, it is with the Dutch, which is going to give you a bank, which is really nice. And uh, he's still got his shrines on coin. He's got eight of them right now. And now the thousand wood is coming in, which is going to enable him to build even more shrines. So a very different look at how Japan plays. Like, I, I didn't even know, like, that the, the Fast Fortress was kind of a thing with Japan, to be honest. I've never really seen, like, a naked Fast Fortress coming in. But it's going to do wonders here. We're, uh, yeah, we're, we're going to see it. Bank wagon now coming in. And also, you can just ship a church wagon while you're at it. Why not? I mean, this is going to be great. It's going to give you that just extra XP trickle as a base, which is very, very nice. We are going to see stables coming in. And he, he has got that option there to get the church. He hasn't got it just yet. And now he's going to be going for the ashy, ashy flaming arrow. Very, very nice. Getting the ashy upgrades. Yorkana. Yorkana, indeed. And let's have a look at Minimal quickly. So Minimal going for four banks again, not for five. Very interesting. Doesn't want to just, just extend that little bit more into five banks and uh, he's also gone for the age up and he's just got himself in there as well and he's just going to be going for more of like a halberdier writer here which is an interesting kind of combination very deadly against any kind of um calf so if there's any like um uh, naggies naginatas coming from wasabi here which he is making it's not going to be the best against this kind of combination so we'll see how it works out. We do see more market upgrades coming in. Blanket filters coming in now as well. And Explorer is poofing into smoke. And uh, now we do see the actual Nagi upgrade as well. So kind of going Ashy Nagi here 
is this going to be good? I don't know. I'm kind of scared that we see halberdiers and writers on the map for Wasabi here. It, it might be a bit tricky, but Ashis have decent movement speeds. They can probably kite relatively well against the halberdiers. Um, their movement speed is... How is that increasing? It's changing. 4.25? Okay, 4.25. But then it... What? It keeps changing. 4.25, 5.31. 4.25, 5 5.31. What's going on there? That's strange. A uh, little bit of a skirmish on the main battlefield here. Yeah, Nagis definitely do not want to get involved in that. Yeah, because, look, they get absolutely wrecked by the writers here. So um, he's going to have to just hold off for now. But, yeah, interesting position here. We, we have 14 shrines. They're all on wood now. Basically, you, you, can't, you can't have individual shrines on different things. It's not how it works. You have to have all shrines on, on one thing. Um, and we do see this shrine potentially going to be going down here. Eight more Ashes on the way. Main battle here on the front line. The, the writer's actually doing a good job, along with the skirms, seeing off these Ashy here. So once this eight Ashy have popped, I think um, I think Wasabi is going to be uh, getting involved here, potentially. Yeah, can you imagine the APM of switching 19 shrines? Yes, uh, Kind of crazy. We do see a little flanking here from Wasabi. Is he going to make the connection? He's going to just play around with it a little bit here, but he needs to be careful. He is, uh, he is poking the bear here. There is a lot of writers. And we can see those halberdiers on the right-hand side also sieging those shrines. Very, very good job from Minimult here. And, um, I mean, that's a lot of Ashes, but we do see, in turn, a lot of sort of Huss, Skirm, and writers here. What do we need to see from Wasabi? Do we need to see... I don't know. Potentially, are we going to need to see some Yumi here? Oh, the uh, Skirm's unfortunately going to be taking the battering there. Once again, Minimult losing quite a lot of his Skirm's, which happened in the last game that we saw. And um, remember, Ashi's are absolutely deadly in hand combat against Cavalry. And that's what we're seeing. They're kind of just on the front line here. However, a lot of the Nagis have gone down, but still a lot of Ashes being uh, surviving here. 23 of them still in play. And Wasabi here kind of coming out on top. Um, just these Ashes are so, so deadly. Look at the hand attack just quickly. Three and a half times extra damage uh, in hand combat, which is absolutely crazy. Um, as Radiant is saying, has Minimult been Japaned? We'll have to see. Stay tuned. We do see, however, six blue guards coming in from the Dutch consulate. We don't actually see the church wagon coming in. And two cherry orchards. Now, the difficult difficult thing with Japan is planning your cherry orchards because you only have a set number of them. And when they run out, they run out. Honestly, when they run out, that's it. So these are his last two. And uh, after that, he's going to have to go onto rice paddies. Or he's going to have to use his shrines for food generation. So it is kind of tricky. He has switched his shrines onto wood. So I think he needs... I don't know what he needs the wood for, though. Unless he is switching to Yumi. Um, I'm not too sure. We do see two flaming arrows coming in now. So I think he already shipped one of them before. I don't know where the where, what happened to the flaming arrows. Um, this is quite nice for Minimult, though, using just a few um, groups of halberdiers here to take out the shrines and just be annoying. That's going to be a bit of a problem. Yeah, he does a Yumi switch often. Okay, all right. We might be seeing that. I'm not too sure why we are switching to wood, to be honest. Ah, we see a switch now to the Japanese consulate. Okay. Um... Yeah, we see actually, this this is quite a good card here, the Bushido Principles. That's quite a nice one. Military units can train in larger blocks, so you can do it in blocks of 10 rather than 5. But I think the Jap Japan Consulate gives you that extra bit of damage for your units, I believe. So, this kind of looks a bit strange, but what um, Wasabi's trying to do, he's trying to get the snare on the Halberdids here and uh, try and put an end to them. But it's not successful. We see the blue guard. Look at the blue guard. I love how they've actually properly changed the look of them as well. They look really nice. 
Ooh, quite a few units here. Gonna have to see how this one goes down. We do now see the Halberdiers going into that cover formation. Gonna be the front line here. A lot of them are starting to go down. They do make it to the front line. Nagis are kind of stuck behind the ash for now. They kind of need to do something. Mini doing a good job here in just shooting and moving, shooting and moving. I do like it. However, the flaming arrows are going to try and work on the skirmishes. Uh, they're going to try and just protect them as much as possible here. But uh, Wasabi's force is starting to dwindle here. Still a huge force from Minimolt. We see it in the score here. 2k score gap is now happening reinforcing Nagi's coming in but it's not going to be enough and they're going to have to back off so nice engagement nice micro there from Minimal out microed indeed um, I don't think the Nagi um, Ashi here it was just the I just still think it's uh, not the best combo I, I think probably is uh, potentially I don't know maybe I don't know what do you think I, do you think Nagi Ashi is still viable in this kind of uh, matchup probably is uh, it's just hard to I don't know maybe like maybe Nagi Yumi controversial Nagi Yumi could, could maybe do a better job potentially it's kind of an interesting one but could be could be an option but unfortunately uh, the, the macro for that is a bit annoying 16 shrines up. Okay, so he's going to be able to get a nice pick off here. Writers are going to have to come quickly and reinforce. Quite a few skirms are going to be going down. But the Halberdiers coming in to save the day. We do see the intervention shipment coming in, which is a great shipment here because he's gone for the he switched to the Japan consulate. He's now making the Konsha Yamabushis, which are basically big boy pikes with a massive ass club that do insane damage to cavalry. Five times bonus damage. They are scary as hell. And it's quite a nice option here, actually. Um, because if he kind of does this and filters these through, it's going to be quite nice for him. Uh, they're going to do some serious damage on the front line if they can get on top of the writers. Yeah, the, um, the Yamabushis are definitely very scary. They have a little bit of uh, range resistance as well, which is quite nice. But yeah, he's starting to lose quite a few shrines here, which is not good. He's on 13 shrines. Um, it's not looking the best. So yeah, we do see... Uh, quite a lot of Yamabushis, which I think could be the game changer here for Wasabi. Uh, we do see five Nags coming in now and also the uh, Militia. Oh no, he's actually held that off. He was going to go for the TC there. Um, but yeah, the Naggies are going to be popping out. There they are. Fantastic. 20 of them now in total. Yamabushi here. Need to be careful. What's Minimalt's vision here? Did he see them? I think he did. There is going to try and be a flank here. But still, there's those writers, those pesky. He just needs to get them in. Get everything in. But then there's obviously the Halberdiers are going to tussle with the Yamabushis. Nagi's still in an awkward position. They're going to have to go back. And still, this is just not ideal. Skirms are going to wail down on the Ashis here. And the, Yama, the, the Nagis, they can't do anything. They're not adding anything right now. They're just getting taken out. And there's nothing that, that can be done here for Wasabi. And um, he, he's just going to lose the majority of his mass here. How Badirs are going to start to work on the Ashes and snare them. And yeah, once again, it's uh, it's not looking too good. Sub Lou, hey dear man, welcome. Great to see you here. Great to see everyone here. Sixty viewers in. Um, this is going to be the last casted game, guys. And I've got a feeling we're going to be getting to the end here potentially. Uh, this is going to be the last casted game of the stream. And then I'm going to be uh, ending it. Oh, the Naggies, though, getting on top of the Skirms. They're going to have to quickly get out of there. Luckily, the Halberdiers are there to save them. Look at this micro quickly flicking between the cover mode as well. Absolutely huge. They're going to do some damage to the Naggies here. But still, lots of writers here able to clear all this up. I think it is going to be GG, ladies and gents. I've got that feeling. 8K score difference we're seeing now. Still so much here and many more units coming from Minimalt here. Unfortunately, I don't think Wasabi has this game. 
There it is. The GG, ladies and gents. There it is. There it is, ladies and gents. I hope you enjoyed this. This has been the last casted game. This one between Mini Malt and Wasabi. Thank you so much. Come get some. It's in the chat. We've got a big boy in chat. Come get some. Thank you so much for coming on, everyone. Moonshine's in chat. We've got um, Albasta, a first-time chatter. Difficult matchup for Japan. He needed more flaming arrows. Yeah, most likely. Yeah, to deal with the skirms. Roy Mustang, thanks so much for the recent follow and also for the subs, guys. You were awesome. I've got nine subscriptions to the channel. Um, absolutely amazing. Thank you so much. Real Henry Knox saying you got another gifted sub. Did I? Did I miss it? Schneidly coming in with a five. Five gifted subs. That was big. Um, thank you so much, everyone. You, you guys have been absolutely amazing. I am going to be wrapping up here. I'm going to take a chill pill now. Thank you so much. Um, all I can say is I will see you in the next stream. Let me just resolve that prediction for you. Uh, it was the mini melt coming in. There you go, ladies and gents. You can see all of the... Look at that. GK Shaman coming in with 8,500 points. Gravy Train. Tutti. Mongha losing 4k. That's rough. That is rough. Nice stream, Squidge. Thanks so much. 100%. You know who you are. Thank you so much. All right, guys. Peace out. I'm going. Bye-bye.